Hi, I'm Kathy Johnson of Pyramid of Potential. This is video 12 of 60 of Harnessing Learning Potential series. So today we're talking about how the brain is made up and especially um, when in relation to sugar. The brain is made up of fat and water, but its fuel is glucose, which is a form of sugar. The best sources of glucose are fruits and vegetables. The worst sources of glucose are high sugary foods, things with a high glycemic index. And here we're talking about um, pastries and cookies and cakes and candy. Uh, but we're also talking about things like um, just baked goods, bread, uh, white bread. We're talking about white potatoes, white rice, uh, white pasta. So uh, what's bad about those things? Well, uh, they seem to give the brain an extra boost of sugar that it does not need. And so many times when somebody eats uh, these sugary foods, within 15 minutes, they're literally bouncing off the walls. Hey, their brain is all excited. Um, another thing that can happen is if they haven't eaten for four hours, their blood sugar is low. And so now they start to get hyperactive as well. So uh, this is due to hypoglycemia and uh, how that uh, the sugar reacts to the blood and the brain. So some things to do about it. Uh, make sure you eat more frequently. Have a source of protein whenever you eat, uh, but you do need a source of glucose every time you eat as well. Now the interesting thing to me is that research shows that sugar does not affect the brain. And yet, when I am out there uh, asking, training uh, educational professionals, I'll ask them, you know, have you ever seen within 15 minutes somebody uh, who literally is bouncing off the walls 15 minutes after eating sugary foods. And the uh, gross majority say yes. So we know that it, anecdotally, sugar does affect the brain. Okay, that's it for now. See you next time.